Now we're gonna get into our power rankings. We rank these teams one through 32 based off of their performances and how they're looking going into week three. So the 32nd best team in the NFL, pretty much to say they're the worst team in the NFL right now, is the Buffalo Bills. Um, 0-2, got blown out week one by the Ravens, didn't look pretty against the Chargers, they're 32. 31, the Cardinals, they were number 30, they dropped down a spot because their offense is horrendous. At 30, we have the Cleveland Browns. They dropped down a spot. They used to be number 29. Um, but after some kicking woes, with it, which they got rid of Zane Gonzalez, and um, hopefully they'll have a, a better opportunity to win some more games. They almost beat the Saints, but for now they lost. They moved down to number 30. At 29, the Colts move up a couple of spots uh, from number 31 to number 29. At 28, the Oakland Raiders... 0-2, um, gave up a lead to the Denver Broncos. They lost, they drop a spot. 27, the New York Jets. So they were number 27 in the beginning of the season. Once they won in week one, they jumped up two spots and now they're back down two spots to number 27. 26, the Miami Dolphins, they beat the New York Jets, so that's why they're ahead of them. Um, but they're gonna stay put. I wanna move them up, but I, re I can't move them up because even though they won, there's a lot of other teams that want as well. So for now, they're staying put at 26, but I really love their defense. At 25, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers started at number 31 in the beginning of the season. They jumped up three spots last week, and they're jumping up another three spots this week to number 25 after topping the defending Super Bowl champions. At 24, the Chicago Bears picked up a victory against the Seattle Seahawks. They don't move in our power rankings. They stay put just because a lot of other teams um, are winning. At 23, the New York Giants, they drop dramatically. They drop five spots from number 18 to number 23. That's because their offensive line, they, they should have one of the better offenses in the NFL, but because of their offensive line, that's the only thing stopping them. Until they get that fixed, they'll be down, um, and they're at number 23 right now. 22, the Dallas Cowboys, the team that beat the New York Giants, they move up a spot from 23 to 22. 21, the Denver Broncos, they move up, move up a spot as well from 22 to 21 after that comeback victory against the Oakland Raiders. Going into the top 20, the San Francisco 49ers won 30 to 27 against the Detroit Lions. They move up one spot. They were 21 last week. They move up to number 20. Um, at number 19, the Titans... Their offense still doesn't look good, but a win is a win, so we gotta move them up a spot. They're at number 19. At 18, the, the Washington Redskins looked impressive um, against the Cardinals in week one, so we moved them up drastically in the power rankings in number 17. But then we realized after the loss to the Indianapolis Colts that they only looked good because it's the Arizona Cardinals. So we drop them down a spot, they're at number 18. At 17, we have the Seattle Seahawks, they drop a spot from 16 to 17 after losing to the Chicago Bears. 16, Detroit Lions drop a spot as well from 15 to 16. Going into the top 15, the Cincinnati Bengals continue to surge. Um, and after beating uh, essentially what was a top 10 team, the Baltimore Ravens, they move up to the top 15. Um, they moved up actually four spots. They were number 19 last week. Now they moved up to number 15. 14, the Houston Texans continue to drop. They were ranked number 12 in the beginning of the season. Now they're down to number 14. 13, the Ravens. They were 13 originally at the beginning of the season. Moved up three spots to the top 10 after a demanding victory over the Buffalo Bills, but then they moved back down to number 13 after losing to Cincinnati. 12, the Los Angeles Chargers. They stay put even though it's a victory. They, it, It's not an impressive victory over the Buffalo Bills, so they just stay put. 11, the Kansas City Chiefs are still moving up. They move up three spots from 14 to 11. 10, the Carolina Panthers, they go down a spot after being number nine. And at number nine, we have the Atlanta Falcons. They move up two spots after beating the Carolina Panthers. At number eight, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they drop a spot from seven to eight after losing to the Kansas City Chiefs. Seven, the Green Bay Packers, they actually move up a spot even though they tied, they didn't win, but they tied against a top five team in the Minnesota Vikings, so they're moving up a spot to number seven. Six, the New Orleans Saints, they won, but it, it was against a 
you know, one of the five worst teams in the NFL against the Cleveland Browns, and it wasn't by that much. So they stay put at number six. Number five, the Minnesota Vikings. They actually drop a spot. Uh, not so much because they tied with the Packers, but because they have to make room for other teams that won, which we're going to get into right now. Um, going further into the top five, number four, the New England Patriots. They dropped two spots after losing to the Jacksonville Jaguars. They were number two. Now they're number four. Um, the Philadelphia Eagles are number three in our power rankings, the third best team we have. Um, they were the top dog. They were number one. But after losing to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, um, they they dropped down to number three. And at number two, the Jacksonville Jaguars. An impressive victory against the New England Patriots. Um, move up two spots. Essentially, the Patriots and the Jaguars swap spots. The Jaguars are number four last week. The Patriots are number two. And now they swap. The Jaguars are up at number two. And the best team in the NFL that we have right now, the Los Angeles Rams. They're, they're talented all over the place. Offense, defense, special teams. And they have these blowout victories. And the, there doesn't seem to be anyone that can stop them right now. So they moved up two spots from number three to number one. And they're the top dog in the NFL and the best team that we have ranked in our power rankings. <laughs> 